good things on him. That's the thing with coming in late, you just never know who you're going to find. Let's see if it's, in, it's on his own. I think so. And they got an SKS of somebody, so he must have killed somebody for that. Kind of looks like, kind of like mine. Looks like it's a, it's a nice setup, so I'll take that. Although I kind of wished I have actually forgot to put a side scope on mine. So I could be better equipped for close quarters too. I mean, this is good at long range, but when it comes to mid to close, at mid I'm okay, but close quarters you need a side scope on this. And I'll, uh, I'll pull one on next. I think somebody's going for that scav. Oh! Yeah, I think that was his buddy. Cool. Just make sure the coast is clear and I'll go for some tags. At least pay for the setup. I mean, one of these kind of setups with an extra scope on should cost you about sort of 50, 60k. Oh, well done. Did I head I saw there? I did. Oh, dead now. I don't know what that was. Was he in the bush or something and I could just see him through it? Or was he just out in the open AFK a little bit? Maybe he tapped out or something. It could be. No, no bushes here. Might have been together. Okay, so that's four. That's five with me. Was it ten now onwards? So five to go. Or five left somewhere. Although I'm kind of late, so it's a bit quiet. I'm kind of guessing they might have killed each other by now, but... We'll find out soon enough. Make room for the tags. I don't know, I crossed the whole compound and all the lumber mill and it's been awfully quiet. Scav having a sing along in the woods. Nice rainy day. Good day for it, I guess. Stay still, thank you. That's kind of what I love about Tarkov. You know, everything can happen. I mean, especially with the spawns now. And the scavs are actually spawning in a little bit later. I've sort of went in on the PvE side and tested them out. On PvE, it takes like a good couple of minutes for the scavs to come in. But, another one over there. But, with the spawns that you have now, that everything's so close... If you're really into sort of PvP and you want to get yourself into the sort of thick of it, as it were. Oh, he's dead. Then you can sort of have it all done within like two, three minutes and it's all done. And then you'll have the rest of the raid either have a little party up in the woods somewhere. That they've not rushed yet or they're taking their time. But most... Oh, scav. Oh, there's a couple. Run, run. But mostly, if I go back to my point there... Mostly, it's all going to be sort of going on in the first couple of minutes. I mean, same thing in woods if you spawn on the backside. Same thing in customs if you spawn on if you spawn on the boiler. I mean, that's just PvP heaven there for whoever likes that sort of stuff. What's up, boys? I personally prefer a bit of room to breathe. But then again, I don't carry a map with me because I prefer the mystery of it, like where I'm going to get spawned. I know you lose a slot in your inventory for carrying one, and if you have an alpha or a beta container, it's going to be a lot tougher for you to manage that. But I still think choosing your own spawn gives you sort of the better advantage, as it were. So you know exactly where you're going to be, well, rough area, and then that's it. You just take it from there. So if I may have a moment and talk about the SKS for a little bit, now you'll see this is pretty decent at range. I mean, as long as you can see somebody with this, you can, actually, you can actually zero if you want to. So that's kind of nice by pressing page up and page down. 
on your keyboard in case something does come up your way or you ended up facing somebody and you really have no choice but to go into close quarters or anything like that you do have that possibility of mounting a side scope on it which is going to be really nice i mean all the parts and everything i'm going to link them in the description so you can just check those out what you need to buy i mean mostly what you need to get is everything from proper and gear and then the only other thing that you get is from peacekeeper which is the mrp 45 oh i'm sorry my good man there i think i just denied the chicky bricky there that's not very cool i'm sorry man so the MRP45, it's the only one that you get and you put that on the rail of the SKS and that way your scope is not going to be mounted in front of your actual scope, your PSO, but it's going to be mounted, almost count, but it's going to be mounted just the side of it so you can actually use it in a sort of close quarter situation if need be. I mean, with an SKS you shouldn't really be in the thick of it unless you have a sort of no scope on it, if you have a long scope. Uh, PSO then you shouldn't really be in the middle of it because it's going to take you quite a bit to aim and it's going to be really awkward to sort of use so either take it off stick it into your bag if you want to go into close quarters or you can just mount one on the side of it and from the side of it you can still do quite a lot of damage and you can still have a good fight with it I mean it's going to be a sort of slow firing you're going to have sort of trouble versus M4s AKs and things like that they can automatically uh, they can fire automatic fire at you that quick and that sort of eight nine hundred rounds a minute while you can only shoot a couple but still if you aim for the head and you get lucky or you get the jump on him you can still do quite good with this even in close quarter situations so i know you're enjoying your ak and your m4 setup but why not give this loadout a go and see what you think it might surprise you and hopefully you'll be using it from now on that's it for me for today hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one